Welcome to Change Your POV Podcast. This is Motivation Monday, where perspective is the vantage point of success. It doesn't take a hero to order men into battle. It takes a hero to be one of those men who goes into battle. And that quote is from General Norman Schwarzkopf. Storm and Norman. Well, thank you, Bennett. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a special episode in that today's release, uh, this episode, is actually on Memorial Day 2018. Um, and, you know, I'll be honest with you, even when I was in the military, I never really considered Memorial Day anything more than, like, a day or a holiday or time off to, you know, hang out, with, hang out with everybody, drink some beers, have a barbecue. It wasn't until I served in combat and lost some soldiers um, and then reflection back on those days and that time in my life that Memorial Day has a, a much bigger meaning to me now. Um, and it's weird that, you know, even as I was wearing the uniform, it, it never really... It never really hit me what what the purpose and meaning of Memorial Day was, um, and it's unfortunate because I I have a feeling that there's the, that this day is lost on many, unfortunately, um, and I think Norman in this quote kind of sums it up very nicely, and, and that is you know, and, and people that are like, well, I've never served in the military, and I never well, okay, but if you know if you're vo- if you're voting for a president, that then. That then you know, um, or you're voting for any anybody, any legislature, or you're voting for any anybody of any office, and and we end up going to war. You you inadvertently have a hand in sending young men and women into harm's way, and some people may not agree with that because they they like the anonymity of of, of the separation of being connected to something that that uh, impactful you know what i'm saying i do and i think norman kind of figures it out i mean yes he was a combat general as we were talking about but you know it doesn't take a hero to order men into battle um it's easy to do that well congress a lot most of congress does it every day right? right yeah that's right i mean one of the things that is that that if you look at statistically and i wish before i thought about this i would have had the statistics available but it, it doesn't matter. It's the point is is that um, leaders in in our the way of our uh, you know a represented republic, you know they vote on sending people into battle in essence, right? Yeah. Other than the president who can do it for up to ninety days, whatever by law, right? So, but with this, we always see that congresses that have less veterans send people into war more Mm -hmm. because they don't understand the ramifications i don't think i don't think they know it firsthand as as like general schwarzkopf does right right? yeah um so i know this is going to be a little longer motivation monday but it is what it is (laughs) yeah this is something that i you know that's near and dear to our hearts and you know, it's our it's our Memorial Day memorial yeah episode. So, so has Memorial Day to you changed meaning over the years? Oh yeah, big time. The the one other thing that I want to say though about leading from the front because that's in, in essence what Norman's talking about, right? Yeah, it's not always necessary. It's not always the best way to lead either. I don't know why this popped into my head, but if just a little history lesson and it may be people want to look into it because he's a pretty amazing general, like you military folks might care, was a guy named Gustavus Adolphus, who was the king of Sweden back in the like 1600s, Mm -hmm. right? It's like 1630s. Um, Probably one of the greatest military minds ever born. And his thing is he always led from the front, even as the king, right? Yeah. He would mount on horseback and go into battle. Right. And ended up dying that way, right? Mm -hmm. Which is great 
for his personal glory. But at the end of the day, his empire crumbled because he did that. Right. That can happen to businesses. That can happen to everything leading from the front. If you fall on the sword, think about what is, you know, you're leaving behind behind you. And can it sustain itself when you're gone? Right. Yeah. That's something that I think most U.S. generals do very well. Right. Yeah. Because we train our, our folks so that doesn't happen. Right. What, what, what is it? You always train your, your, uh, your folks to be able to take your job. Oh, absolutely. Succession. Th- that, planning, that's yeah. Th- yeah. That's a leader. Yep. Right. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, man. But Memorial day to me, man, um, our buddy, Matt Sapala put out a, a, a video and if you haven't seen it, go check it out at Facebook. Um, the smart money guy, bro, uh, crying like a baby. This was yesterday, day before. Mm doesn't matter i was crying so he he writes back to me i know man it took me it took me like 15 takes to do the freaking voiceover (laughs) um because i have i have friends that have died battle now and combat and i know guys um and gal both both guys and gals and um you know i think about them and uh i think about the way that they passed and it's uh it hurts my it hurts my soul a little bit, so I you know I really am a reverent person today. Uh, very uh, have a lot of gratitude for what they've sacrificed, and I always think of their families and uh, and whatnot. You know, yeah. So it means something way different to me now than it did when I was eighteen. Yeah, you know. Yeah, All right, man. Well, thank you, sir, and a happy Memorial Day. Well. People say Happy Memorial Day, and they get all. Some people get all butthurt about it. I, it it's, it, it, you know, Happy Memorial Day is enjoy the holiday, and and remember, remember our fallen, and there, and and you can do both, right? You can have a yeah. good holiday and, and and enjoy the time with your friends and family, and and still keep in the back of your mind, um, the reverence and the memory of of those that, that paid the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, some people think it's a one or the other thing, and it isn't. No, and it's not. And um, yeah, I, I always say that if you are at a barbecue or whatever, because you know what, it's inevitable. At the end of the day, it's a celebration. Yeah. So um, celebrate their their life and their sacrifice, but make sure you uh, you know what, step up and give a toast. Yeah. Toast your toast the fallen brethren. You know. Don't be scared to do it. Don't think you're going to be an ass for doing it. Just do it. Right. And uh, if you really want people to to remember, then shove it down their throat <laughs> and uh, and give them. Make sure that you stop everybody. Have a moment of silence. Give a toast. Whatever. Uh, make people think about what this day is about. That's how you do it, right? That's right. You man. do it, or you get out of the way. That's right. So uh, thank you, sir. And uh, thank you for those listening. We've got uh, some exciting news that we're, we're finally releasing and we're going to start sharing with everybody all over the place. But uh, you can join Change Your POV Podcast Network. Uh, myself, you, Dwayne, uh, you, Dwayne and, and Jeff are all heading over this year to the Military Influencers Conference 2018 in Orlando, Florida in September. We will be meeting guests, interviewing speakers, conducting live interviews. And hosting a live meetup over there. So you can find out more by heading over to changeyourpov.com forward slash MIC 2018. All right, folks. Until next time.